They're trumpet. Anybody else? Very nice. Oh. Trombones. Why? Why would Vaughn Williams do that? We have this nice full sound right at the end, and then all of a sudden, trombones, third trumpet, snare drum comes in at those moments. Why would he do that? He's a very good composer. Why would he not have him play it right at the beginning? Listen again.
here is more air. So there you go. If you don't know the answer, so look at the conductor, more air. But what do you do when you see crescendo? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Anything else? Look at the conductor, more air. See how long you have to do it. Don't think too much. What are you doing? You see crescendo. Yeah. 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 Good. Wrong. <laughs> you should get. And then Vaughn Williams puts this crescendo right before the arrival, right? At C. It's a great opportunity for us to kind of do something unexpected for the audience. Shaking this phrase, all this flowing, and then we get to measure before C. The listener knows it's coming, right? If we do a subito piano there, it's going to be wow. And then finally we get to C. Okay, try it. Go a little faster, just for the sake of time.
before the final arrived. You're changing the articulation. We slowed down. We pulled back a little bit. And you, could you hear it? What you did? You got louder. 